A new strategy has been included in Power Mill for face milling. Let me just open up the form. So the form is defined similar to the other new features such as 2.5D curve machining and chamfer machining. All of the information is placed on a single form. So we have the work plane, the block, the tool, face milling specific parameters. So here I can define the position on the face, the Z height at which I wish to machine. I could type in a value here. Alternatively, I can select this icon in the top right and select either the top of the block or the top of the part. I can also define an engagement feed rate, in this case 65% of the general feed rate. What this means is when the, mo the tool moves from outside of the block and first engages material, then the feed rate is reduced to 65% of that of the general feed rate. The reason for this is to avoid or reduce the shock loading on the tool therefore preserving the tool life. We can define roughing slices as well as the final finishing slice if there is a large amount of material to remove and also if we want we can gouge check the toolpath automatically against the model. The remaining pages on the form are general toolpath parameters so safety heights leads and links, start and end points, feed rates and spindle speed. If we just go back to the general face milling page, I'm going to hit calculate to create the toolpath. And OK. And if I now just animate this toolpath, here you can see a single level of face milling, continuous climb milling. 